Good morning. I'm rocking my hair. I look like a punk rock. You know who I look like right now? It reminds me of. I, you probably don't even know this, and nobody will know this, but. Um, there. Thank you very much. Look out, Alpha. There's this uh, space guy from JPL when, when Curiosity landed, the Mars rover, or the Mars thing. He was a flight commander, and they called him Moha Mohawk Dude, and he was like, like kind of Filipino. And let's see if I can find a picture. I'll put a side by side comparison. I'll put him right here. Let's see if I look like him. What do you think? Do I look like him? And he looks like this. That's what I look like. What are you yelling at? Ella. Who? Ella. Why are you yelling at Ella? No. Is that my teeth? Oh, that's your stuff. <laughs> hey, is this like number three breakfast for you guys? No. Fifteen? Fifth. Fifth breakfast for you? Oh my gosh. It's two. So our kids have like three breakfasts. And what was that face for? The smell of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Anna does not like eggs. She just doesn't. She doesn't like eggs. And that's I need okay. ketchup. You need ketchup. I need ketchup. She doesn't like eggs and that's fine. That's cool. She doesn't like meat. That's cool. She doesn't like chocolate. That's cool. I'm mad in love with her though, so. But I'm pretty easy to clean. She is very easy. She is not like the traditional vegetarian where, yeah. Most vegetarians are like, no, 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 no. This veggie right here, she is so super easy. She'll always find something to eat. So, so if you ever have us over your house, Excuse don't worry about it. Me. She'll be fine. <laughs> Even if you forget you're vegetarian, Even if you forget I'm vegetarian, there's always salad there. Or... Well, there's been times where like there's been meat in the salad. Mm -hmm. Like we go to somebody's house. And there's meat in the salad and meat in the dinner. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and I'm just like, I'm okay. Because it's my choice. Like, yeah. that doesn't need to be somebody else's burden. So, it never has bothered me if somebody forgets I'm a vegetarian. And people get so sad and, like, they feel like they've offended me or something. And I'm like, absolutely not. No. Can you help me with the ketchup? Of course. And Anna is, was busy over here stripping her toast. <laughs> <laughs> so I just read the coolest comment, and and you're awesome. I think I think it was Terry's Golden Life. I think that's who it is. She's a new subscriber. Um, there's a lot of you guys that have, have joined us who have who saw us um, when we hung out with the Nivals. and um, so thank you for that comment, Terry. You, you're awesome. So um, we just love sharing our life and. We're sharing more of it on the daily vlogs now, or not even daily vlogs, not even doing daily vlogs, like, because I didn't put a video up on Saturday. But it's important in the last couple, the home stretch here, as we're trying to pay off this debt, um, just to kind of be connected with you guys. So I think we don't expect a video every day, but maybe if there's a video every day, then you're like, woo, that's awesome! <laughs> because I have commitment issues to the internet. <laughs> No, I'll do it inside. With with what I do and the job I do, it's sometimes so hard to spend like twelve hours mm -hmm. a day working on a, a TV show or a film, and then come home and, and want to actually create content or sit down. It's not even that. I love creating the content. I don't mind. I don't mind recording it. It's the fact. It's the fact that I have to sit down again for another like two to three hours, and I've done that all day <laughs> in a dark room, you know, and. Uh, it's just hard. But anyway, so that being said, you're the most awesome people in the world. That's right. Except for this one. She's the, she's the most awesomest. Aww. And she made my birthday weekend amazing, so thank you. Aww. I love you. Mwah. Look, you want to show us on the internet? You want to show the internet? Internet, you want to see an egg? Whoa! <laughs> What's that? Bloody Blood, eggies. Bl bloody eggs. And what's Colin doing over there? What are you doing? He came. He got out of his Buzz Lightyear shirt. <laughs> what are you gonna tell them, Colin? Nothing. Nothing. Can you say I'm eating? Nothing. <laughs> You're eating. <laughs> tea time. I'm having tea time. You don't do this when I did it all for you. You're totally yeah. right. Are you done with the sugar? Yeah. Two hands. Yeah, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I can do it. Oh, is that good, Colin? He's having tea. Is it good? Is it good? It's still so hard. 
Still, still a little bit hot? <laughs> it's still warm, yeah. Whoever thought you guys would be having tea with Snow White? I know, right? Snow White, thank you for letting us have tea with you today. This. So, so just special. for memory's sake, Ella and I used to have tea all the time I when bet. we would do our morning devotional together. I and I shall be home back. You what? I fell down. Oh, you fell down? Yeah. Are you okay now? I went bye-bye. You went bye-bye. This is just a Yeah. <laughs> so sweet. So Ella and I, I would have our... <laughs> It is a tea. Are you telling us what it is? You just want to tell us everything so right now. Is it cute? So Ella and I used to have a morning tea with our devotional every day when Caleb was at school and Colin was napping, and it was a really special time for us. And then we started homeschooling, and we didn't have that special time anymore. So, but it was a really fun time, wasn't it? We used to have a really nice time and great conversations, and we thought, wow, we really miss that time. Like, how can we get it back? And we thought. We can all do it together. And so the boys and Ella and I have been doing um, our tea and devotional time, and it's been really nice. You like the tea time, Colin? Can I have some milk? You like the tea time? Yo. Yeah, I'm eating it. That's good stuff. Would you like getting me a <laughs> Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's going like this. <laughs> so things got a little wild right now. Colin, you want to tell everybody what happened? No. What happened to your finger? Hold on, what happened to your finger? <laughs> you <won't hold> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, Colin. Colin, what were you saying hi to? Who were you saying hi to? A bee. To a bee? <laughs> yeah. Where, where was he? Outside? And did you pick him up? Yeah. With your fingers? And did you get an owie? <laughs> you want to show me your finger? Show me your finger. No. Which one is it? Is it that finger right there? Is it that finger right there? Can you point your finger? Show me. Point it. Go like that. Does it hurt a little bit? Is it feeling better? Yeah. So Colin got a bee sting. This is not his first bee sting, right? It's like a third. Third. <laughs> oh. Oh my he, baby. he just has no fear when it comes to bugs. He'll pick he them just up. He just picks or, them up. Or like he stepped on half of one once that was Remember dead. you stepped on one? Remember? <laughs> Remember that one? Remember you stepped on the bee? This was his first live bee sting. I think, uh, I Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Were you just trying to be friends with him? Yeah. What did you want to tell him? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> Sweet boy. So let's talk about uh, bee stings, right? So bee stings, we've done, we've had a few of them, and Anna's good at looking up at Pinterest things to do. So if you do get a bee sting, make sure to remove the stinger as soon as possible. So use a credit card. Fortunately for Caleb or for Colin, uh, this the bee was actually on his finger still, and it was like moving and everything. So I just wiped it off and then got a credit card and took it out. Um, and then we did a couple of things. We put his finger in honey. I know you can put it in mustard and you can also put it, um, ice helps a lot. Ice helps a, a lot um, for the pain. Uh, this is granted you're not allergic. If you are allergic and you start to see massive swelling or you know you're allergic, you definitely want to call 911 and get to an urgent care. Um, but also some baking soda, baking soda, like a little uh, baking soda and water, uh, like a little paste. Toothpaste also can, uh, can soothe it. And apple cider vinegar is, is really amazing too. Just drench it or apply it on your, your bee sting. So hope some of those tips help. Uh, poor little guy was screaming though when we're trying to do all these things. We did all of the above. And, um, uh, but he's now has the best remedy, which is mommy. He's hanging out with mommy, so poor Colin. Mm -hmm.